What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Balance Perception YouTube channel. Today we are doing a shoot with... Mikosha. Mikosha. She graciously allowed me to come all the way to Greensboro to take pictures of her. And today it's about, what, 8.30 now? Just about. Yeah, about 8.30 we're going to be doing a casual Wakanda Storm cosplay. And we're going to go around the park and you guys can join us. So let's get into it. Hey. <laughs> decided to do today's shoot at the NC Arboretum. It was a great shoot and it was a great day to actually be out and shooting. It wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold. You know, here the summers in North Carolina can actually be rather rough, but it was actually perfect. Um, oddly enough, I actually had to pay for this shoot. I had to pay, I think it was only 25 bucks to shoot at the NC Arboretum. So anyone else looking to shoot there, just keep that in mind because they did have a few park rangers that were walking around and you know, if they, they none of them approached us or anything, but just in case you do want to have that pass on ham. So anyways, back to the shoot, as you can see, I was using my large Godox diffusers along with my Orlet Rove lights. I've linked those in previous videos and I will also link them again in this video. And then to actually record this video, I was using my GoPro Max, only the front facing camera and not the 360 function. I will be posting more 360 videos later, but for now it was just, anyways, only the front facing camera. And then for this shoot, I actually used my, uh, not, oh my gosh, my Nikon Z6 instead of my Nikon D7000. So I really like the way the mirrorless camera actually shows you basically what you're going to produce as soon as you press the shutter button. Unlike the D7000, you know, which is a bit of an older camera, doesn't do that, so that's a bit nice. It's also a much lighter camera, so you ha it has that going for itself too. Side note, you will actually have to pay a little bit for the XQD memory card, so keep that in mind if you are thinking about getting a Nikon Z6. Anyway, so back to the shoot. I was here shooting with Mikosha. As you can see, she did a casual Wakanda Storm costume. I really, really like this outfit. I mean, I'm just loving to be back in, you know, the shooting of things. Now that COVID's, you know, kind of, you know, the regulations are getting a looser and conventions are starting to come back. So it's really nice to start shooting again. I did choose the NC Arboretum for this one because it was closer to her and you know, it was not that far for me. It was only about like a 30 minute drive or so for me. So that worked out perfectly. We started here, as you can see, in the gazebo and we gradually moved over into this covered area. It's an area that usually is covered with several plants and, you know, vines and many different colored plants, basically. But right now, actually many of them were not in bloom, but that's okay. It's still made for one, a nice area to shoot and also a shaded area because as it got later on, the sun was getting you know, hotter, but it worked out very perfectly. I like that the backdrop this provided. Um, I was able, of course, to take many portrait shots along with landscape shots, and I just really, really like the backdrop that it provided because Storm, of course, is her power is nature, her power is weather. She's able to control the weather, which will, of course, control nature. You know, back in Africa, she was revered as a god, pretty much, because she was able to bring rain when the farmers needed crops. So I just thought that this was a really great area, especially since it's her casual outfit and not her, you know, X-Men gearing up to go kick ass outfit. So I really thought this was a great environment for that. I do wish that there were more flowers, as I was saying, in bloom but that's okay you know we still got the whole nature idea across along with just as you can see in many of the different shots I'm changing angles you can take so many different pictures with not even moving just literally changing the angle if you swap the point that you're shooting at and just change the background without even actually changing where the model is standing it looks like a whole new picture the third area we moved to was another area in the garden and as you can see it has this large blue vase in the background i really wasn't sure what i wanted to do with the vase but i just knew i really wanted it in some of the shots so as you can see we got that we were taking a few here in the canopy still because 
and just you know an FYI for you guys I personally love shooting with the Sun not on the model especially if I'm using flash so I'll use the flash to overpower the Sun make the model a little bit brighter than the background that's just you know my personal way of shooting that's the way I like to do things then we gradually moved over to the benches that were also here in the park I once again, love to just see different angles, different aspects. And I saw the benches, I was like, hey, you know, this is a casual storm, why not I get, a, why not I get some of her kind of relaxing, just enjoying the day, because even storm gets a day off every day, she's not working, right? So I do want to mention for this shoot, I was using the kit lens again, instead of my Prime 50 or Prime 85 millimeter, um, just because one, those are the two lenses that I have like with my D7000, although I do have the adapter that will fit them on the Nikon D6, um, it's just a personal preference thing, and as you can see here, I was, you know, getting closer, taking a few up close, really close portrait shots, because I feel everyone loves those and they always look good. Then we decided to pick up and it just literally changed the angle as I was saying. I got her closer to the vase, we took a few pictures there, and also Makosha really wanted to take lots of pictures near the vase. But overall, I think it was a really good shoot. You will see the pictures at the end. If you guys want to see that, just go ahead and jump to the end. I will also be putting them on my Instagram and Facebook if you guys would like to see them there. But I really love this shoot and I want to thank Makosha again so much for coming out shooting with me so we just finished uh, shooting not filming it was a great shoot here at the NC Arboretum I would like to thank Mikosha Mikosha I always want to say Miko but I mean you can <laughs> I can't say that. you can Miko works so, thank you so much for coming out and shooting with me today thank you guys so much and until next time stay boundless see you. bye, bye. <laughs>